Thank you. As I prepare for my 2016 launch of the Black Success Academy Network, there will be a health and wellness channel on it. So I'm gathering all the luminaries that I can now to help you to have the healthiest and the best life possible. I have Pastor Chris Simmons here. He's here to tell us about Cornerstone Baptist Church and the great things you guys are doing over there. Well, thank you so much, Valda. We really appreciate you and your venue of getting the word out about um, others in the community that are trying to serve those who are in our neighborhoods. You have a community where you have made a difference through Cornerstone Baptist Church. I know it's not you. We understand the power of God, but you are such a vessel and such a force for the change in the South Dallas community. Could you tell me some of the things that you encountered when you first got there and then tell me where you are now? Yes, when we first arrived at Cornerstone, I was a seminary student in 1988, and they were referring to the neighborhood as a war zone. Had a lot of drive-by shootings, gang activity, prostitution. It was a community in crisis and a community in despair. And um, we went to our church early on and asked the question that if we were to leave this neighborhood, would, our church, would the community miss us? And if they're not going to miss us, maybe we should go. But if we're going to be here, let's be here to try to have the greatest impact in the lives of people that we can. And so we started doing a lot of ministries and community outreach to touch people at a point of a felt need to build a relationship with them because we understood that people did not care how much we knew until they knew that we did care about them. And you have done a great job of caring. I know you opened a new kitchen facility, but you have all kinds of services available. You thought of all the life needs at Cornerstone. Stone, tell me about the church, uh, the kitchen, and then tell me about some of the other facilities. So the kitchen is a new facility, 9,600 square foot commercial kitchen that will allow us to increase our capacity to serve those who are in need. But also, um, it will be used as a job training facility. We'll be working with an organization called Equal Heart, bringing on 40 at-risk youth who have criminal background, um, pairing them with 18 mentors to help them to get on the right path, to have life change, and investing in the lives of our youth. We believe that if we're going to see a generation change, that we've got to begin by seriously investing in the lives of our youth. But also, the kitchen will not only feed the homeless and be a job training facility, but it will be shared kitchen space for entrepreneurs in the community who have a gift and a craft in the area of food industry but oftentimes they need a commercial kitchen to prepare their food for the betterment um, for investment in getting their food into other venues and so it will also allow us to be able to provide that for entrepreneurs who are struggling. In addition to the outreach to the homeless, we have a school for at-risk kids 16 to 21 years old to help them to finish their high school diploma and accredited program. Um, we do medical services providing free medical care with doctors who give up their time, dental care, working with the Bella School of Dentistry, and then in partnership with the Lions Club, able to do eye exams um, for those who are in our community who are in need. And then realizing that many of the people that are in prison who are struggling a lot of times have a high chance of recidivism because they don't have the stable support that they need. We provide um, transitional housing complex for women coming out of prison as well as men coming out of prison and help them with not only providing housing on site, but job training and other things that are needed to help them to be successful. And so really just trying to be touch points of meeting the needs of those in the community oftentimes when we see unmet needs. Thank you for what you're doing at Cornerstone Baptist Church and also for those of you listening, how can they get in contact with you or the programs that they need? We are volunteer based and volunteer ran and are always in need of volunteers in various areas from mentoring to help serving the homeless to helping us with holiday celebrations. They can go to the website www.cornerstonedallas.org and that's www.cornerstonedallas.org and they can find out more information as well as sign up to be involved and to volunteer. Pastor Chris Simmons representing Cornerstone Baptist Church. Thank you, Pastor Simmons. Thank you so much. Thank you.